Hey guys, welcome to Nerdarchy for Nerds by Nerds. I'm Nerdarchist Ryan, and today I'm joined by the full contingent of... I'm Ted. I'm Dave. I'm Nate. And uh, today we're doing a terrible terrain. We're talking zombie garden gnomes. You heard me right. Zombie garden gnomes and yellow creeper <laughs> vines. Is that what we're uh -huh. doing on this? Well, sort of. But, you know, this was actually based off of a Facebook post uh, we did um, over a well, while. Remarkably, on Facebook. <laughs> Ironically uh, enough. Thuya yeah. Sib, I think is how you pronounce it. I'm not positive. Uh, commented on... I had basically found a picture of... or No, on Amazon you can buy zombie uh, garden, gnomes. garden gnomes. And, nice. you know, she asked us to do a video on, on these. So I'm like, sure, why not? So I like zombies. I so, like garden gnomes. You know, for the actual, um, you know, game world... You know, we wouldn't. They wouldn't really be, you know, gnomes because you know garden gnomes are like this. You know, would they be some some kind of <laughs> pygmy forest you know, gnomes that have been coming to zombies? <laughs> you know, it's like some some kind of bizarre, you know, creation. You know, be it undead or construct. You know, situation. What if there's a necromancer going around zombifying garden or forest gnomes and shrinking them? That could be or possible. how about forest gnome kids? That's could do that. That's, that's that terrible. That is really That's really good. Horrible. That's good. Yeah, that's good. I was just, you know, giving Nate's a Nate's like, what, what, how would I make a garden gnome in a fantasy world? <laughs> I did not zombie? ask myself that I'm question like, at oh, all, I, sir. I know exactly what I would do. I would just kidnap forest gnome children because they're already little. <laughs> You're horrible, sir. <sighs> horrible. No, garden gnome farm. I'm looking that's for some sort of it. terrible, morbid Michael Jackson joke, but I'm just, I'm not <laughs> I feel like just, it's already so just, bad. Yeah. Putting the effort is what matters sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes. It's, it's the thought that counts. Right, like, I'm thinking, so, like, the Willy Wonka. The so, so we've got this horrible, you know, you know, forest of... You dread. Know, dread. What is it, you know, protecting, surrounding, you know, how, how did this come into be? If we've got un, undead, you know, miniaturized zombies. So I'm seeing this. This is, like, probably a, um, a part, a, a, a grove in, like, Ravenloft. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, what, what if there's like a necromancer that grows these things, right? <laughs> but you know, he harvests the souls of forest gnome children and then grows them into this these little monstrosities. What, like I can almost picture, yeah, yeah, I can almost picture like these really like withered, thorny uh, uh, plants, and and when and w when they grow, that you know, almost like a, like a flower that hasn't budded yet, and then when it finally buds, it just drops out one of these zombie forest gnomes. Mm. So, so are, do we are we looking at the druid necromancer? Because this sounds like like somehow you managed to like mingle the life a aspects of life and death into one thing. I I actually uh, think that's a, a cool idea, uh, especially with fifth edition um, stacking the spellcasting levels. Hmm. Um, I think that would actually be a really a really neat so, idea. Yeah, a drac romancer. A yeah. drac romancer. <laughs> yeah, nice. yeah. So if we, if we have this this guy who is basically seen, um, not a yeah. druid. What? Not a Nuruit. Nuruit. He's basically he's basically seen you know plant life destroyed so can, much. I have a question for you. Can he have a familiar? Sure. Can it be a chimpanzee? Sure. Yeah. Or a monkey? No. I, <laughs> what I what I want him to be is the Johnny Depp take on Willy Wonka, which was kind of a creepy take on Michael Jackson. So it all fits. Like I want him to talk like that, that sort of like lilting voice and stuff like that. But he absolutely could have an undead monkey. What if chimpanzee. what if he's a, I mean, a forest gnome himself, but he's just really traumatized, and perhaps he's uh, really like an outcast amongst his people, and a druid necromancer forest gnome that has grown this horrible garden and because he hates children. Did you just describe Nerdarchus Ryan? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Definitely not. Ryan. I don't hate children that much. Okay, I'm thinking. Okay, so he can't have kids for whatever reason. Maybe there is a, a curse, or maybe there's just simply he had a disease when he was a young kid, so he's sterile or whatever. So, uh, so he's, he's growing. And he's his been, children. you know, he's been rejected by women and other things. So he's really like this old hermit guy. Well, like abused by his father or something. Like yeah, that. yeah. You let's just do, stack all the trauma. You there. could do like a Joe Jackson thing. You could do a Joe Jackson thing because he's a terrible human being. And he went off into the forest drinking mushroom juice, and then he had a vision of what he could do. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> he could grow his own children. Mm. It didn't turn out right. No, it turned out. But he loves right. them. Yeah, he yeah, loves them all the same. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's got to harvest the har he harvests harvests the souls, harvester of sorrows, or or you know, I think it's just I think he just he would gather them rather than let them go wherever forest gnome souls go. 
he gathers the souls of children who die rather so, than actually so killing them. I actually think he 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 um he is access, has access to or has found or created some kind of like soul like siphon a soul trap or something. Uh, yeah, b- basically Ghostbusters. Like, no. He uses servitors and they're um maybe they're like ravens or crows, possibly undead, possibly not, and they just hang out around the forest gnome uh, villages and stuff, and they just wait for the kids to die. And when the spirits go to depart, they just snatch them. They just Dave, like amulets, oh. Dave, like amulets or something like that that draws it to them. Some, yeah, you know, some sort I think of like cool receptacle. If they, if they were constructs and they had the amulets are inside of them, so they just look like they're like munching on the soul as it as it flies tries to fly by it wherever neat, wherever yeah. it goes. Ethereally or whatever. Well, yeah, maybe. But, maybe well, they could be undead, undead like soul or something. Yeah, you know, yeah. Soul Ch- children don't die, you know, as you know, all that rapidly. So I would say, like, you know, he could harvest the soul of any gnome, and then it just happens to grow, and because it's a zombie, it's the size of a you know a you know a gnome baby, and because Plus it's it, undead, it's not going to get any bigger. So it always stays a child. I don't know. I kind of like forest the, the, the harvesting of the, the child thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like, it, it's so screwed up. Like, may as well pile all this on top. Yeah. I don't know. I just don't think that you know, you know, no you don't f- think enough gnome children die. Yes. Oh, okay. Medieval for, times. For this... Okay. I know we've got magic, but it's still medieval times. People die of all kinds of stuff, right. even when you've got magic. The rickets. Got they get the rickets, or you get run over by a wagon. I had to explain this to the newbies too. They're like. They double the populace of adventuring level power in the town, and the town has like a thousand people in it. Yeah, like there are a lot of just farmers and commoners and bakers. You thought no twentieth level bakers with an axe in the back, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> waiting to just go on an adventure. They just right. bake. Yeah, just that's my my opinion. So, all right. Besides, then you got to send your servitors all over the place looking for these other gnome communities. Yeah, you know, and you know, I think part of it is he's got it in for that. He probably has it in for a specific community. Mm. And again, you know, the one being, that ostracized them, right? And being zombies, they don't die, right? They're already dead. So, so, so what if you only pick up ten a year or whatever, five a year? You know, your your garden's just going to keep growing as long as you keep tending it. Is it tending it and loving it with tears and blood? Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. And so, sorrow and sorrow, and so <laughs> you know, you're going to have some other creepy. Uh, harvest in there, you know, like some ne'er do well plants or fungi. Definitely could do some fungi. So, in so it. like, so then the idea is like, how do you turn this into an adventure? Like, so it, it's very passive and mm. it's almost not evil enough mm. in the sense that, like, <laughs> well, I actually, like, I actually like that quality about it because it's just messed up to a high degree. Mm. But I mean, it's not like it's not noticeable though. He's not killing people to take their souls. He's right. just like you know transferring them someplace else so unless you think you know if you think undead are abominations and must be destroyed at every at every turn well these are kind of like plant zombies so are they really undead mm. <laughs> they're plant, just immortal plant 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 so, <laughs> he could so. be traveling with that circus it, well he could uh. be but like so uh, yeah but i'm seeing like you know you're you're actually barring those children from the afterlife. That's mm-hmm. well, that could be the sticking point. Well, that's that's a pretty hard thing. You're preventing them from having. So their how does how does he get or you know acquire you know the stuff for the essentially the evil plants or the carnivorous plants? Well, yeah. See that that's what I'm kind of thinking about. Ooh, maybe that's maybe that's where it comes in. Maybe they actually have to be fed. Well, they got to bring stuff back. They have to bring organic material like bodies, basically, like the the the, the the zombie um, garden gnomes are bringing back materials to like nourish the like the plants and other sort of yeah. But this could be my, like my, my initial deer and my, my initial thing or about, commoners or from com- the human yeah, yeah, absolutely like sending them the raid communities and stuff. Well, yeah, because you need something to make it. Otherwise, you're creating this thing that you might as well not create because your players are going to never know about it. They need to run. It needs to run afoul. Of, yeah, of it's got to be a problem. If it, if it's not a antagonist, then it's like you're just doing this exercise in mental masturbation that no one's going to know about. It'd be like us shooting these videos and putting them on my hard drive and doing nothing with them. <laughs> and then, we, and then we would say... 500 plus videos. Yeah, and then, and then we do like, comment, or subscribe. Or don't do that because you can't see this. <laughs> so, so, yeah, so you need something there to draw... To, to, to draw the protagonist you, into you it. The right. One the gnome walks into that forest. The living gnome walks into that forest. If yeah. he makes it back out, 
everybody's going to know that something terrible is going on. They don't need to be stealing commoners. No, 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 that's on. not subtle enough. <laughs> not subtle enough. <laughs> it's just like making him too evil. Why make him more evil than he already is? He's already screwed up. Like, he's already doing things that real good adventurers would want to stop. That you don't have to be, he doesn't have to be murdering people for them to say, this is messed up and wrong. Well, what, what if, you know, how would anyone know? You know what? what the if, gnome that survives going in and coming back out and saying there's zombie gnome children in this forest, <laughs> something's effed up. You know what I'm seeing too is like there's like a playground that he has them go through the like the motions of playing. Like, oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Like, he, he, saw, plays ball, he plays questions play, with them. Plays and catch, yeah, absolutely. They're his kids. You know yeah. the the the. He's like a, you know, the actual pedo, vegetation, really. the plants. Yeah. Yeah. They could be like growing at a at a faster rate, you know, and so it could actually be the encroaching uh, plants. That is noticed by yeah, deadly you know, plants. You know, he, you know, by, by one town or another, and it's not until they <laughs> I think go in, in my game, those plants are growing right out of human corpses. Mm. All right. No, I'm. You know, we, we can. You know, we put out there mo multiple ideas, and you know, whatever DMs decide that they want to use this, can because you got to fertilize. Well, the plant. so but here's the thing: say wildlife starts eating some of these this plant life that uh, he's making with all kinds of like nastiness, because there's and they start getting mutated. Well, yeah, things in the wild just start getting mutated. So that's another inroad to get your oh yeah, we, like, when they come across our first half zombie deer, right? Yeah. Or like Wait, you just, shoot a deer, it falls over, it rises as a zombie. Well, or <laughs> like, I mean, or it just got some other like some take some qualities from like a ghoul or whatever to yeah. it. You know? Well, there used to be like templates and stuff for like half undead yeah. and i'm just envisioning like like they they basically take down the deer right and they're looking at it from one side well when it falls and they go to it and they look at the other side well the other side totally looks like a zombie yeah. there, it's already the flesh is already rotting and maggots are sticking out of it yeah like you gotta you gotta bring the the hook and the eerie yeah. to go on to get the think, player I engagement that, yeah i think that would be uh you know a fantastic way to you know make that make that a little bit more creepy and uh and more you know useful and noticeable it's almost like he's making his own like eden of creepy new garden gnome children yeah yeah, and then you can branch out from there and come up with other creepy, uh, you know, forest animals. Because again, he's a forest gnome, so he can he can talk to forest creatures. That's right. And drive them mad. Yeah. <laughs> and infect them with the, his madness. The, the things that he tells them. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Your players walk into a glade, and there's two deer sitting at a stump having a tea party. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> there's just there's crazy squirrels stuff just sitting there. like this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So I, I don't know. I I think. Um, we we took a totally nonsensical uh, video and turned it into something kind of cool to throw into someone's game, and uh, yeah, thanks for the suggestion. Let us know if we hit the mark on it. Put in the comments below. While you're at it, like, share, and subscribe. You can check us out on nerdarchy.com, or you can catch us on Twitter at nerdarchy. You can also check out our stuff on Facebook. Until next time, stay, stay nerdy. nerdy.